Let's start out in Southfield. 19 football players making it official. Seven D1 athletes put pen to paper, including the Minnesota-bound duo of Ray Buford and Dior Johnson. Johnson expected to compete at safety for the Golden Gophers. Dior was a late switch to Minnesota after originally committing to Wake Forest. I took a visit to Minnesota, and once I took that visit to Minnesota, I felt a change of heart, and I wanted to play at Minnesota. I knew I could do a lot of things there, and I wanted to have my, my family come see me play, and I wanted to play in the Big Ten, too, so that played a factor. Ray Buford will also play in the secondary at Minnesota, an athletic cornerback with good size. Ray committed last summer. The coaching staff and the, and the coach that will be coaching me, he's, he's put a lot of guys through the ranks and helped a lot of guys, and I just felt more most comfortable there, and they were the first school to take a chance on me as far as a Power 5 conference school, and I just went along with it. Over in Detroit, a collection of football stars representing the PSL made their selections. Western running back Romello Ross was an All-Stater all four years. He chose Central Michigan, and despite the fact they don't have a head coach right now, Romello never wavered. It's a great university, a great program. I got faith that they're going to find somebody who who going to live up to the right expectations and lead it. How excited are you? I'm, I'm very excited. Michigan State continued to reload with the signing of offensive guard and Detroit Kings standout Keontae Stallworth. A long time commit, Stallworth realizes this is a whole nother level. They fast. Everything moves fast. You know, um, guards getting up to the second level on linebackers, um, pulling wide, stronger. You know, you got 350 pound defensive tackles that can run. So, you know, it's going to be it's going to be competitive for me when I get up there. Everyone was waiting with breathless anticipation as to where Cass Tech's phenomenal running back and our number one player in the state, Mike Weber, would wind up. Originally committed to Michigan, a while back, Mike decided Ohio State was a better fit. After Jim Harbaugh took the reins at U of M, the question was, would the Wolverines be able to lure him back? Weber agonized over the decision, but in the end, Mike will play for the national champion Buckeyes. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully I get out of there three years, and, uh, follow my dreams, go to the NFL, and make things happen. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to hit the weight room, run track, get faster, better, and stronger, and uh, hopefully be a, a big threat for the uh, State Buckeyes. All right, so that's how it shook down in Detroit. Let's head west now to Ryan Terpstra. Hey, thanks, Lauren. It was a massive signing day out here in West Michigan, in part because Davenport University signed over 30 athletes. But whether they're going to the Big Ten or down to Division Three, all of these football players are excited for the next step. As a child, you always dream about playing college football all through high school. It's what you work for. And today it's kind of finally the official moment where I became a college football player. 75 student athletes put their names on the dotted line in West Michigan, including one of our Mr. Football finalists, Tyree Jackson, who is headed to Buffalo. That was the first school they'll actually offer me, so it was just, I felt like it was at home, a great choice for me. I feel like the first person that offered to do is the most important one because they're the ones that took a chance on you first before everyone else heard about you, so I just really like the coaches and the new offense they're running. For some, it was teammates till the end, like Grand Rapids West Catholics Bryce Witham and Travis Russell, who supported each other throughout the process. It's hard to find someone that knows what it's like to be in your shoes, and Bryce was one of those guys that knew what it was like to you know, be in a bind and not know where to decide and where to want to go to school. So I was able to talk to him, feel it out, you know, figure out what was best for him, figure out what was best for me, and you know, having him by my side definitely helped me in making my decision. For others, rivals on the high school gridiron will remain rivals on the college level. We're good friends. We've been competing since like youth league, so we love the competition and competing against each other. It should be fun. Over a third of the players at this event are headed to NAIA level Davenport University, whose inaugural class has a very West Michigan flavor. Our biggest thing in recruiting was not, okay, let's divide the state in east and west and kind of be really thin on both spots. Let's saturate West Michigan, let's hammer it. I had an offer from Ferris State and it's between them and Davenport, but I love being at home. I love being around the community. I love being around the Grand Rapids area. And so it was between them and Ferris and I said, okay, I'm going to Davenport and everybody wished me luck. For all of the signing day athletes, this is a chance to celebrate a shining moment in their lives. It's relieving, it really is. You know, it feels great. You know, all the, the time and the commitment that you put into, you know, working hard to become a college football player and it, and it pays off. It's a, it's a really relieving feeling. Reporting for State Champs, I'm Ryan Terpstra.